So now let's talk about hormone balance in men. So there's two main hormones that need to be in balance in men, and they are testosterone and estrogen. So testosterone is important for muscles, mood, energy, and libido. And then estrogen is mostly made in fat cells. So men who are overweight, they're gonna have higher estrogen levels. And the high estrogen levels can sometimes lead to breast tissue development in men. So when we do blood work, typically a ratio of testosterone to estradiol, which is estrogen, of 10 to one or higher is considered optimal. So for example, if a man's total testosterone is 500 and their estradiol is 40 or lower, that would give them a ratio over 10 to one, which is good. So let's go over a case example. So David is a 55 year old man with fatigue. He's noticing a lower libido, trouble with erections. His wife says he's putting on weight. He's not seeing any results at the gym. So even though he's lifting weights at the gym, he's not seeing his muscles get any bigger. And he's also noticing that his mood has been lower. So we check David's blood work and we find that his testosterone levels low at 180 because normal is 200 to 1000. His estradiol is actually high because normal in a man should be under 40. And his vitamin D is really low at 15 because normal is 30 to 100. So what's his diagnosis? So David has low testosterone or andropause. So that's a term we use for male menopause. So as you can see, his ratio is way under 10 to one. His testosterone is really low and his estradiol is high. And then having that low vitamin D can also really affect his hormones as well. So high estrogen levels in men is something we're seeing more often these days. I'm even seeing it in younger men in their 30s and 40s. So these men present with fatigue, increased breast tissue, low libido, low muscle tone, and problems with erections. So there are several factors which may be contributing to this problem. The first is being overweight because fat cells make estrogen. The second is zinc deficiency because zinc is an essential trace mineral needed for testosterone production. And it also helps prevent the testosterone from converting to estrogen. And finally, I believe it's due to the epidemic exposure to xenoestrogens, which are the chemical estrogens found in plastics, fragrances, and personal care products. It's also found in hormones like non-organic poultry, poultry and dairy products. I'll be going over this in more detail later in my talk. So it's important to remember that fat cells make estrone, which is a type of bad estrogen. So if you carry a, a large amount of excess fat, the fat actually acts as an endocrine gland making hormones. So there's an enzyme in the fat cells called aromatase, which converts testosterone to estrogen. So the more fat you have, the more this conversion is going to happen. Now zinc is an essential trace mineral that's necessary for testosterone production. But what's quite fascinating is that zinc also blocks aromatase. So I'll often give these patients um, a low dose of zinc to take daily. So being overweight can really affect your hormones. You know, the more fat you carry, the more estrogen you're going to make in your body. And then this leads to more fat and less muscle. So it's a vicious cycle known as the obesity estrogen cycle. So getting back to our case example. So how do we treat David? So first thing I do is I give him some zinc, 25 milligrams to take daily. Definitely take zinc with food because otherwise on an empty stomach it can cause severe nausea. I encourage him to exercise 30 minutes of cardiovascular exercise daily with some light weight training because this will naturally boost his testosterone levels. I optimize his vitamin D level because vitamin D is so important for hormones. So I get it up to 60 to 80. I have him cut out all the non-organic poultry and dairy products from his diet and I switch him to a more organic diet. Then I counsel him on avoiding xenoestrogen. So I wanna make sure his personal care products are clean, free of parabens and other chemicals which could be mimicking estrogens in the body. 
And then finally, I prescribe a low dose of bioidentical testosterone. Again, this is made in a compounding pharmacy and it's made from yams. And it just comes as a cream and, and I have the men apply it on their shoulders once a day. And I find this form of testosterone replacement to be very well tolerated with much less side effects compared to synthetic testosterone injections. So after three months, David comes back to see me and he has improved energy, mood, and libido. He's lost 10 pounds. He feels firmer, so more muscle and less fat. He's losing inches around the waist. And his blood work shows that his testosterone is up to 475 and his estradiol has gone down to 25. So this is a significant improvement in his testosterone to estradiol ratio, which is now much higher than 10 to one. And his wife is very happy. So this case shows that hormone imbalances do happen in men as well, and that by treating it, we can really improve quality of life. Thank you.